hello everyone and welcome to today's video today i don't know why i just clapped <laughs> today we are doing the big clean right before the new year it is eight o'clock on december 30th 8 p.m that is and i am in this mood to get everything cleaned so that we can start the new year fresh and fresh and clean so we're gonna start off by cleaning the apartment now we kind of did some cleaning the other day but we're currently doing laundry right now there's laundry in our current washer and dryer there's laundry in the downstairs like building washing machine rooms and i just want to get it all done so i can fold it and get it all put away but while that's going we are going to get this kind of cleaned up inside we're a little by little so we will get to cleaning probably the kitchen first I think I like starting with the kitchen because it's something that's always dirty. It's always dirty and I don't get it. And this has happened in every single apartment we lived in. I just feel like the kitchen is never clean. So this is the current state of our kitchen. We just had dinner, so these need to get cleaned. We've got the gross little countertop going on. <laughs> the dishes that need to be done. And our new beauty. We got the... Uh, Nespresso Creatista, I think is how you say it, um, machine, and when I tell you I just had a cappuccino, this is what I mean, I've been making cappuccinos, because I'm apparently really good at it, and I've been obsessed with this thing, we've had it for like three days, we've been trying different types of pods, and we have more sitting right here, there's a ton, but basically, this thing has now accompanied this little section over here and I need to figure this out. It may be a while before I figure out what goes here because um, we are ordering like the base where it stands on it and you put the pods underneath. And we're also getting the trash can because what I love about Nespresso is these are made of aluminum and they are recyclable. So good job Nespresso, love it. Nespresso pod situation. Basically, we have the organizer coming in, but it's going to be a couple days. Uh, but the back thing here, that's where the discarded ones are, and then all our other ones here. Um, I kept this case just because it's the starter kit and it tells you like all the flavors. So, I just want to keep those. But yeah, I put the kettle away because this is my life now. This is life. But yeah, kitchen's pretty much done. Dishwasher's going, and then those will go in there. There was actually dirty dishes in there, so I couldn't add that or switch that out. But next is this mess. It's not really much. It's more of just cleaning up the tables, cleaning up the blankets, and the desk will eventually need some love and a vacuum.
Okay, but that is it for the living room and kitchen here. We are much more clean and my headspace is definitely cleared up as well seeing this more put together. But that is it for me on this day. We're gonna finish this tomorrow on the 31st where we are going to attack this ugly hallway, the bathroom, probably finish the laundry and probably clean up the bedroom just a little bit. I may like try and purge my closet real quick. I've been purging a lot, so I'm ready for that. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, day two of cleaning. It's the 31st and it is currently 9.52, I don't know if you can see that, 9.52 p.m. We are almost done. I just did the laundry. Um, I'm gonna do, the, like finish the bedroom here. So I just need to do some vacuuming, some dusting, some regular cleaning. I have some clothes that like still need to be like hung. I just needed to take a bit of a break. Folding just takes it out of me. It's like one of the worst chores, folding, so. Yeah, so we're gonna vacuum, get this cleaned up, and then we're gonna move to the bathroom because I'm gonna get that done. It is, like I said, it's almost 10 o'clock, so it's almost two hours till midnight. We are staying in, obviously. So, it's just with everything going on, we're not risking going out and doing that just because... Ugh. <laughs> that is just like, I kind of passed that stage of wanting to party and all that stuff so we're just gonna chill at home try and make it to, i'm gonna say try and make it to midnight but i know we'll make it to midnight he's playing video games right now so we'll be fine let's just let's get this cleaned up so i don't know if it's kind of it's kind of visible here but the empire is doing this cute little multicolored situation here i hope this pops up on screen okay though but she cute. We'll see. I'm going to pay attention because on the 4th of July there was this huge fireworks show that came off of it. So I'm going to try and capture that if they do that same thing. So there's the bedroom there, all nice and clean. Extra pillows that we use. The bed, bed. his desk, I let him do. It's his responsibility. Um, but then we just have the kids kind of corner with the window seal and their food. And then just our console here. It just holds my perfumes. My notebook kind of ends up there sometimes. And we have the PS4. We're still contemplating if we want to sell it or not, or just keep it. But yeah, super, super simple clean. We're not really a make the bed type of people because, well, okay, I'm a make the bed type of person, but I get up and go to work before he does. So he doesn't really make the bed. So it just kind of is something where it's just the comforter and heated blanket are tossed over top real quick and then the pillows are there.
Okay, next up is this semi hot mess that is the bathroom. It's actually not that bad. We've kind of been keeping it pretty clean, but it just needs the simple take everything off, wipe everything down, wipe everything that goes on it, put it back on, a little bleach in the sink, a little bleach in the tub, but otherwise nothing too bad. It, it is 10.38 and we are making good time. I can see me being done here shortly. So let's get this one done. So basically my battery died when I was cleaning the rest of the tub. It's not like it's a good view anyways. It's just me, like my legs in the tub, so it's not much. Um, but basically the shower gets a scrub down once a week. Every Sunday I do like a self-care shower and then I like take care of the bathroom, the like tub and the walls afterwards. So it's usually not that bad. The only other thing we need to do is get a new curtain. Bucky likes to attempt to climb them. And yeah, this one, it was only $5 from Ikea, so it's not like we lost a lot of money on it. It was $5. <laughs> but with that being all done, the apartment's clean. It's actually all clean, all of it clean. I got it done in two days, probably a total of like five hours. But it feels good to get the end of year clean. And we're going to start the new year with a clean apartment, clean mind. We're going to see if this mindset works. Hopefully it will. It is 11.14 and I am ready to get out of these dirty clothes, get into some PJs, get the champagne out, or no, I think we have mascot. I don't know if it's champagne. I don't know, we've got something. We're going to get that out, we're going to get a nice little toast going, which you will see in the next video. But with my next video coming out in 2022, I want to take this time to wish you all a very happy new year. If you're somebody who takes part in New Year, New Me, let's do it. Let's succeed it. Let's manifest everything that we want. Let's get it. We can do this. I'm probably going to do a New Year resolution. Not resolutions. I don't really like resolutions. But just kind of more goal setting and stuff that I kind of want to reach certain points before certain months. Not really end of the year. So we'll kind of, we'll see how this goes. But I wish you all a happy new year, and I will see you in 2022. Bye! Also, side note, I'm so excited for it to be 2022 because personally I'm a girl who likes even numbers, so we'll see. 2022. We'll see what you got for us, alright? Okay, now it's bye.